I can either control them at the individual uh, pallet lock control units or right here at the MS3D. Okay. So you, uh, once it's a lock control page, I can select which locks that I want to control. Let's say the first seven here. And you can see they're in the, the broad area of the triangle's back. That means they're unlocked. I'll move to the lock position. You see how they highlighted all orange? They're not in the command position. I'll double execute the cycle through. You'll hear it. So that's to prove all your pallets are secure before you take off. Is yes. It? Yeah. So. The uh, airdrop program, we can program the airdrop and set it up if, if we need it to be uh, for the heavy equipment, the tow plate extraction, 15 foot shoot. And uh, the locks will sense the load. So back in the uh, in the older systems, we'd have to go and manually set the preset on the uh, the locks to get them out of the way. Now the computer will adjust for it. And once it feels that way, move out of the way, and the load will extract itself. So. Hey Jamie, what time do you guys think you're leaving on Friday, on Thursday for photos? I can program the current cargo. You see the different loads we put in here. Um, I can put it in by area, put it in by centroid. Uh, if it's a large dimension thing, I can put it in just by the dimensions when I cut down the other. So can you calculate load trim as well from this? Yes. We use uh, percent CG instead of uh, trim station. So we use this one to see if it'll count up there. Right. We'll go up to the CNIMU and display it all the fur. Pages for the pilot so he can see what the calculated weight is, what the CG is, what his estimated landing weight is going to be, and what his estimated CG is going to be. So when the pallets are actually loaded, how, how high are they inside the fuselage? We can go all the way up to all the way up. Oh, right. And we have a 10 foot by 9 foot cargo area. Right. And uh, we've, I've loaded cargo that give me an inch, so that's about all we had on the top. And that can cope with fairly. Um, Unusual maneuvers, can it? So you can. Yes. It's, again, it's going to depend on how the pallet was built or whether uh, it's structured that way. Some of the cargo that we would carry would be an ISU, an individual support unit, 90. They call it 90 because it's 90 inches tall. Right. And if it's all enclosed, so everything will be in there, and I've had no problems with those, even at 60 degree angle of thing, 3G turn. It's not going anywhere. Once it's locked into this airplane, it's pretty right. And the loading itself, can you do that mechanically, or does that still, you still have to shunt them around by hand? Yeah, that, no, uh, it's still, we're, we're shoving pallets shoving in. Shoving pallets, yeah, right. a little bit of manpower for those. <laughs> now, some of, the, some of the equipment you may get a load from will have some uh, mechanical advantage to yeah. help push it, get it going. Once it gets in here, it's all... It's all so like, there's no use for machinery to bring it in, forklifts or exoskeletons or something like that? Well, I do have the winch, so depending on the load, I can winch it in. Okay. okay. So can you get you know, vehicles in, in here as well, if, if you want it? I can get vehicles. I, yeah. uh, one gentleman asked me earlier, there's no problem getting three Humvees in here. Just hey, Jamie? On. Sir. I'm oh, sorry, excuse me. 